We have done about 11 countries and 39 cities of Europe, mostly by train. When I say mostly, I think about 80 or 90% of the travel was done by train. Then the rest, some of them done by plane and bus and ferry to travel between um, the, the, the islands, the, mostly the Greek islands. And yeah, that's about it. So after when he got back, the whole world shut down and me and my wife, we've been thinking like, what the hell? Like uh, nobody knew what is going to happen. Nobody knows. Like, what are you going to do? Like we did so much. And now what? So since then, I opened this YouTube channel. I actually was posting the videos of the travel. You can go back in the, uh, in the, in the playlist and then look at them. And then I decided to create a, a photography channel based on Silky Peaks and Affinity Photo just to pass my time and show people what I've learned over the year and etc and so on. But I had about 16,000 of photos, more than that, that I had this idea to post them online and talk about it and so on. And I've done nothing because the whole world changed and I was figuring out what to do with my life and our life. After one year, finally, I came up with this idea. So this is what this video about. In this video, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to talk about this, uh, each travel in each cities and each countries, the experience, and mostly around the domain of photography, which means that I'm going to show you what kind of pictures I've taken, mostly in black and white. Hence, this video is in black and white. Uh, because when you travel to Europe, what do you do? You go there, you take photos and you take videos. But really, in this uh, era, we don't really take videos in black and white or photos in black and white. Uh, the vo video is going to be in color, obviously, but the photos, I'm going to post them or show, the, show you as a slideshow in black and white, mostly in Acros, because the photos were taken with my trusty Fuji X-T20, which I've sold. There's a bike just passing by. And now my idea is this, pretty simple. When I was looking in YouTube, I could not find a proper travel documentary. Well, there are plenty by National Geography. Uh, there are plenty by, who else? Uh, Discovery. There are plenty by some well-known uh, person. But they're well, they're just too perfect to me. When I say too perfect, what I meant to say that they're like well high... Uh, maintained uh, big budget travel documentaries. What I missed is the individual effort. Uh, yes, I mean, there are a lot of um, YouTube uh, videos about travel, but mostly looks like a commercial for a uh, travel agency, uh, like one of those cool transitions. It's nothing raw and original about it. At least I didn't find. If there is any, let me know. So my idea is simple. I'm going to show you a video that I've taken and I'm going to talk about that city, you know, um, the language, the culture, the food, um, how long did we stay, the weather was there at the time, uh, how was the people, how was the, um, how was everything, like, you know, just a quick brief while the video is uh, running and then I will show you a, a a very small portion of personal selected photos that I've taken with my Fuji X-T20 and converted them in, in Acros, in Silky Peaks Developer Studio Pro. The idea is to show you a motion picture, a video at the very first beginning about what happened, what have we done, and the second part would be uh, uh, looking at Europe in black and white, not color, because to me color is um, it can be, you know, I love color photo, but can be very distracting for many cases where black and white kind of uh, put you there. Like you have to pay attention to what is happening in this photograph. And it's very minimalist. You only have three things to look at. Three colors, for instance, black, white and gray. At least how I see. Then, I mean, it's going to be very simple, informative, enjoyable, uh, simple nothing too busy, no, no uh, kind of cool uh, transitions, some colder crap 
you know, uh, not, not those. So this is what I'm going to do. And what I'm trying to achieve from that arena, from that type of videos, like what are you going to learn? I mean, what my purpose to do that? Purpose is very simple. Me, I want to share my experience, what I've done, because this is crazy, especially right before this global chaos that I've, I've managed to travel uh, that many countries in 100 days. I mean, this is just, I don't know when, I'm, when any of us are going to do that in future to be honest with you, because the world is about to change. So this is my last memory of traveling around the world without any restriction. And the second, Europe is beautiful, it's diverse, it's crazy. And especially for me, being uh, from a country uh, in Bangladesh, where I had no idea how Europe was like, and now I got to see the history of World War II, the, what happened to uh, Jews, what was damage done by Nazis, the communist versus uh, the democracy. I'm having goosebumps. So still I have fresh memory of all that. So I want to share and I wish to make you feel what I felt. And also you're going to look at uh, the, the, the eye of a photographer, from an eye of a photographer, I mean to say, meaning that, you know, you will probably enjoy the simplicity of those photographs and especially, come on, I mean, no one can travel anymore. So I wanted to kind of share about uh, those countries because I don't think that you will be able to travel very soon. So probably you get to see those video and it makes you feel happy. I don't know. That's, it. That's what I want to do. Maybe those uh, this new series will serve its purpose as I intended. Uh, so that's that. So what else I'm missing? I'm going to do that and it's going to be about uh, 50 videos because yes, it's 39 cities in 11 countries, but also I flew drone uh, in many countries. So I want to talk about a little bit of drone flying in Europe only because that I want to deliver a message or tell folks who wants to fly drone around Europe especially because that's what I want to share what I've learned the rules regulations what to do what not to do what you can do because photographers don't just carry a photo uh, camera I mean you always carry uh, many forms of uh, devices to capture a motion picture or still pictures right and drone is one of them so I want to share that too and a little bit about um, DJI Mavic Mini that I used briefly so um, what is good or is not good at this point that's the whole concept so this is what's going to happen after next following 50 about 50 videos going to be about that um, our first city and the first country will be switzerland in geneva uh, the francophone city of switzerland where we stayed about uh, one night just to discover that's probably that was our first stop and then we started and we went crazy so the first city we're gonna be nice and quick uh, I didn't really like it much when it comes to um, it's not really a city where you want to go and have fun because it's a really serious diplomatic city it's the diplomatic capital of the world so I'm just going to finish this video just about now because I think I'm repeating a lot <laughs> So it's better to stop and then just show you, just prepare. Just you, you are going to enjoy a lot. You're going to see about the, the beauty of Europe, I believe. At, at least what I found, Europe is beautiful. Um, a lot of people cannot travel anymore. So probably this video is going to uh, give you the impression of travel again in this uh, chaos. So yeah, exciting time ahead. See you soon in future videos. Bye-bye.